For everyone born a place at the table, for everyone born clean water and bread. A shelter, a space, a safe place for growing, for everyone born a star overhead. And God will delight when we are creators of justice and joy. Yes, God will delight when we are creators of justice. <coughs> justice and joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With you, Welcome to our St. Joseph's Regional High School end of the year mass. A little bit unusual to conduct it in this way, but how beautiful we have this opportunity to give praise to our God uh, through celebrating Mass together, even if we're not all in the same place. My name is Father Joe Chapel. I'm a 1972 graduate of St. Joe's. And for me, it's a great blessing, really an honor, and a really pleasure to be here to celebrate uh, this uh, Eucharist with you. The Lord gives us so many good gifts, we could never be worthy. And so we call to mind our sins and our need for his mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe and Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, whom I serve, during these years there shall be no dew or rain except at my word. The Lord then said to Elijah, Leave here and go east, and hide in the Wadi Cherith, east of the Jordan. You shall drink of the stream, and I have commanded ravens to feed you there. So he left and did as the Lord had commanded. He went and remained by the Wadi Cherith, east of the Jordan. Ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever will I sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever will I sing the goodness of the Lord. God has made a vow to us, a promise to us here. He forever walks with us and makes us strong. Forever will I sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever will I sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed you who know the Lord, and walk amid his light and rejoice to hear his name we are made strong forever will i sing the goodness of the lord forever will i sing the goodness of the lord
Alle, alle, alleluia, alle, alle, alleluia, alle, alle, alleluia, alleluia, alle, alle, alleluia, alle, alle, alleluia, alle, alle, alleluia, alleluia. Speak, O Lord, your servant is listening. You have the words of everlasting life. Halle, halle, halleluja. Halle, halle, halleluja. Halle, halle, halleluja. Halleluja. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. I think this gospel we just heard might be fairly familiar to you. It's called the Beatitudes, and there we found the words, blessed is he who hungers for holiness, he shall have his fill. And what does this mean? Well, we find that the Beatitudes can be a little bit elusive. But let's enter into the scene because, in fact, we are there. Jesus spoke these words to each of us just as truly today as he spoke to that group on that day so long ago. And actually, in these crazy days we've lived, when we've been so isolated, maybe we can enter in even more easily. In these days when we cannot actually go to Mass or receive the Eucharist, in these days when maybe time has weighed a little heavily on you, maybe some of life's big questions have popped up for you. I sure hope they have. And it's terrific to ask these questions today as we celebrate the end of the school year. Having a final Mass for the school year as each of you enters into summer, whatever your summer will bring. Well, that was the case for those people around Jesus who heard these Beatitudes directly from him. They were people who had followed and they wanted to know, what is the meaning of life? Why am I here? What about suffering? What am I to do? What happens when this life comes to an end? Are these some of your questions? They're certainly among mine. And what is it that Jesus answers to them and to you and to me? He said, blessed are those. Some translations say instead of blessed, happy are those. But blessed does not mean lucky and happy does not mean cheerful. And that's why one of my professors in the seminary once uh, screamed out in class about this reading, they're not the happy tudes, they are the beatitudes. Blessed, blessed has a more fundamental and basic meaning here. It comes from the Greek word makarios, and makarios implies the happiness of living life and with the lived sense that your life is good and your life is in balance and you are at peace and in a right and balanced relationship within yourself, with your neighbor, and with God. And in this way, blessed really means holy, which is to have your life in that right relationship with God. If I'm in right relationship with God, then I will already be in right relationship with myself and with my neighbor.
Blessed doesn't mean that life is all rosy or free of problems. It means that beyond our worries and beyond our burdens, there is a confidence that in the end, all is ultimately well. The first beatitude is the basis and the key for all the others. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The poor in spirit know that they are dependent on God for all things. We have nothing. We own nothing. Even our next breath is always a gift from God. And to know this is to be poor in spirit. It means to recognize God's love for me is the foundation of my life. Whatever my joys and whatever my sorrows, they don't change the fact that God loves me. Through Jesus Christ, he created me. He wanted me to be who and what I am. And he won't change his mind about that, no matter what happens along the way. We live in a world that often does not know Jesus Christ and a world that often does not respect Christian belief. Yet all the same, we find in ourselves and in everyone around us a hunger for God, a hunger for holiness. And when we stop and ask Jesus to let us know his love, we're filled with this hunger. And we will desire to respond with our whole life, with our whole heart, to live as one in love, to live in response to God's love. We desire to know and live within the true meaning of life, that is to say, to live in relationship with Jesus. And so we give thanks for all the achievements of this school year, even if a chunk of it was so crazy, as we prepare for summer and some kind of leisure. I hope you will give some thought to something that's been obvious over these last couple of months. We are not in charge of the world. God is. We are not in charge of our lives. God is. So in these days ahead, I pray that you'll let your heart experience that hunger for Christ, Christ who is in charge, Christ who is at the center of your life. And that's what Jesus is inviting us to when he calls out to us today. Blessed is he who hungers for holiness. He shall have his fill. God bless you today. God bless you throughout the summer. And God bless you always. Heavenly Father, you are the source of all graces, blessings, and goodness. Though we are damaged by sin, we present our needs to you in the hope that you will restore us and heal us. May our requests find favor with you. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our church leaders, that by their contrition, penance, and spiritual renewal, they may lead the way to deeper fellowship with Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil leaders, that they may set aside partisan politics and instead embrace and champion laws and policies that support respect for human dignity and highlight our equal status as brothers and sisters of one human family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our administrators, faculty, and staff, that the summer break will renew their own zeal for learning so that they may continue to be effective teachers, role models, and disciples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our students, that the summer season will bring them true relaxation of mind and body, and that the beauty of creation in full bloom will always turn their hearts in gratitude to its creator, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer from physical difficulties, emotional trauma, moral indifference, and spiritual sickness, that the healing power flowing from Jesus' resurrection may give them healing and newness of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially students, faculty, staff, benefactors, and family members of the SJR community, that they may know the fullness of God's splendor in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the requests of our book of intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own intentions, which we express in the silence of our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, all creation rightly gives you praise. As your Son redeems us and as your Holy Spirit continues to unite us in love, we express our deepest gratitude to you 
for hearing us today. May our requests serve to bring you honor and glory. We ask this in the name of Jesus and through the working of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Envia tu Espiritu, envia tu Espiritu, envia tu Espiritu, se a renovara la faz de la tierra, se a renovara la faz de la tierra. Spirit of the living God, burn in our hearts and make us a people of hope and compassion. Envia tu Espiritu, envia tu Espiritu, envia tu Espiritu, sea renovada. La faz de la tierra sea renovada, la faz de la tierra. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
When we eat eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And I invite you at home to offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us thy peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
And now I invite you to join in the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never let me be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we have the pleasure to have the blessing of the rings. Let us pray. Father, bless these rings and all who will wear them. We ask that they be a sign of all that the members of the class of 2021 have learned and experienced during their time at St. Joseph Regional High School. Bless these rings, metal circles without beginning or end, as a reminder and sign of your eternal love. May they also be a sign of the unity and friendship their recipients have shared with each other at this school. We call your blessing down upon our students, Lord. Strengthen them in your, in your spirit, that they may grow in trust and appreciation for one another and live their lives as your sons. May they dream and love life. May they be happy and free in your spirit. May they be witnesses to your abiding love. May they be a shining light to all whom they meet. And may the Lord Bless all here present in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wanted to take just a brief moment to express my gratitude to the entire St. Joe's community. Um, while thank you certainly doesn't feel like enough, um, unfortunately at this time it's really all I have. So uh, to our students, thank you. Um, as I said to the senior class the other night at baccalaureate mass, uh, the brotherhood has been tested throughout this process, but it's because of each and every one of you that it, it has not broken. In fact, in some ways it's stronger than ever before. Um, to our incredible faculty and staff, thank you. Um, you had literally one day's preparation for what turned into the last 81 days that we've been away from campus. Um, so thank you for your ability to adapt and continuing to deliver exceptional instruction to our students. Uh, to the parents, thank you for your unwavering support. Um, supporting your boys to get up and be on the computer from 8.30 to noon. Um, supporting the school as we've tried to waver our, through this um, and continue to, continue to support St. Joe's in all ways. Um, to everyone who has supported us throughout this entire process, um, I truly can't thank you enough. So as we end our school year officially, um, I just wish you all uh, a blessed summer. May you stay healthy and safe. Uh, more information will be coming out in the next few weeks regarding the fall. Um, but it is our hope and prayer uh, to reunite the Brotherhood here on campus in Montvale. May God bless you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Well, it's time for us to become people with spirit. It's time for us 
To become people of love, it's time for us to know that Jesus Christ is risen, forgives our sins, and brings us new life. I send you out on a mission of love. I send you out on a mission of love. I send you out on a mission of love. And know that I am with you always until the end of the world.